Good morning, guys. It's through the weekend. Mrs. Burning Gas has obviously exited stage left to you because I entertain her that much. <laughs> so, the last video you might have seen from us, which was on Wednesday, that was me saying we're not going to do a daily vlogs, but Sarah decided that we thought let's let's vlog the weekend. So you're probably watching this on Monday. So this vlog is for the Saturday Sunday. So we've got a few things planned. We're going to go for a breakfast. We're going to go take a bike ride to up towards. I think we're going to go over to Up Hall, um, which is over on the what side would you call that? The more the Edinburgh side, Lothian, Lothian side. We're going to go up that way. We're going to go across the. Card and Bridge. We've got a few little things planned today anyway, and then tomorrow I think we're going to head towards the borders. Um, so that'll be quite nice down towards the Scottish borders. So we've got kind of a few riding plans this weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, so as this. What's that? First is breakfast. First is breakfast, yeah. So you've heard it from the master. First is breakfast. So we'll take you for breakfast and then we'll take you from there. Speak to you soon, guys. Thank you. We're bad YouTubers. We got breakfast and started it, and this is what's left so far. And this one. <laughs> they were in Costa, so the order's not quite the same, is it? It's not a caramel macchiato with two shots and almond milk extra hot. It's a hazelnut latte. It'll do. With almond milk. It'll do. <laughs> so It'll do. Toast. This is the best kept secret, isn't it? That is kept, that is kept the best kept secret. Like for a decent price breakfast. Mm. Like it's not much for this. It's like really decent. So enjoy your breakfast. So guys, you've probably just seen that Sarah and I just had our Costa coffee, toast and coffee breakfast date. Not the most um, elaborate thing watching me shove uh, <laughs> jam, jam, jam covered toast into my hairy bearded face but hey it is what this is real life uh -uh. this is real life so uh, as you can everybody can hear you can i've got sarah on the the dual vlog and i think maybe at this angle you can maybe see her on the the on the on the can <laughs> on the camera so we're just crossing the concarden bridge now uh, we're going to head over uh, towards north queen's ferry um just to get some nice photographs maybe get a drink of water maybe because for Scotland, in the words of a Scots, we're roasting. <laughs> we're roasting. I'm not one for not wearing like a leather jacket, but this time I'm wearing a leather vest and I've got my arms exposed because I'm sweating. So, and anybody who's watching this from Scotland, it's roasting. At this time of year, it is, the weather is amazing, so we're taking full advantage of it, aren't we, Sarah? Yeah, you know. All these people back there are like trying to get into McDonald's car parks and get like ice creams and stuff like that. And I'm going, go to a park, get an ice cream from someone else. Exactly. You know, it's like, why are you, why are you trying to cram into McDonald's on a Saturday afternoon at lunchtime? It's always the same though at that one. It's always absolutely mauled. Oh, no. It's, I mean, I know everybody probably watching this is not from the area. We have two big McDonald's in our town centre. And... They're, the cat, the parking's terrible. The you know, and the service is probably not any better. And uh, everybody's just wanting to do the same thing on a Saturday. And I'm a bit, it kind of gets me a little bit as if to say, but the weather's too, the weather's too nice for all this. I, I don't, I don't understand it. Nah. You know what I mean? It's like the, well, anybody who knows what Scotland's like, we don't get the weather. No. There's always one. Right, overtake this thing, okay? Or you'll be stuck behind it. Okay? Yeah. Kapow! So, anybody who, who, anybody who knows, like, what Scotland's like weather-wise, when you get this, blue skies, a few clouds in this, like, a few, a few clouds here and there, and you can take your, like, leather, leather jacket and, like go down, you go out and you enjoy what you enjoy. You do not go on McDonald's car parks and go for a McFlurry. I am not that desperate for a McFlurry. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> so that is all, guys. Um, as I say, I've got Sarah behind me um, on the soft tail, uh, scaring young children, upsetting old and upsetting grandparents when they're having their coffee. 
because we haven't released that video yet, Sarah. Like my, my editor needs to be fired. Um, I'm the editor. Oh, that's right, I am the editor, so I haven't. Sorry, guys, I haven't got around to editing that, but I'll put a picture up of what these exhausts look like somewhere here, <laughs> round here. Sarah's got the new uh, Reinhardt racing exhaust fitted to her bike, and uh, they are rather loud. Um, I thought my bike was quite loud with the SNS AK 45s on the back, and you know, the stage five work all done. Sarah, no engine work whatsoever, set of exhaust, and uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure there's okay. like, yeah, we'll get by. Yeah. Oh, that's nice of them. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we've got the SNS, the AQ45s on this for the stage five, like I was saying. And uh, yeah, Sarah's exhaust still, still scare small children. And uh, did they wave at you? No, I'm afraid that then. What? Right, okay. So, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we do scare small children, upset grandchildren, uh, grandchildren, grandparents when they're having coffee. And uh, Sarah has no regrets whatsoever. She's a bad, she's she's a bad biker. No, every time I start my bike, I'm just shake my head. I'm just like, I don't want to ask for that loud bike so people can hear me. But uh, yeah, it's a bit. Uh, you, you, it's a bit you, you sound, so, uh, that, that's right. Yeah, I mean, it's like Sarah. For anybody who's been watching, maybe Sarah and I on YouTube or Instagram, or have met us in person in Scotland, Sarah, everybody's always saying, so, "How's your soft tail? How's your soft tail slim?" And, Sarah's like, oh, I love it. Oh, you're going to do anything to it? You're going to upgrade it to a stage three? You're going to take it to 117? Are you going to do anything? And Sarah's like, no, 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 no. And then last year it was, well, I wouldn't mind a little set of exhaust. And then this year it was, yeah, we'll do it. And I, so I said, right, we'll find a set of exhaust that matched the finish of the original ones. Blah, blah, blah. Fitted them, started them up, and it was like, Sarah's looked at me and she went, what? 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 What's going on? You know, and I was like, well, that's what you wanted. That's true. That's I mean, there was a couple of weeks ago when we were in Glasgow, we were coming back home and there was loads of traffic. And we were like, kind of looking at each other and we through, as you do. Yeah, yeah. A couple of bikes in front of us and, like, nothing was moving for them. And then we were, like, came up, came up behind them and then things just started to, like, part, like, the red sea. Yes, like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, they can hear us. <laughs> well, that's exactly, well, I mean, that's what... Everybody wants the Harley sound. They sell everybody. Uh, anybody who's watch, anybody who is watching this, right, who has probably a Harley Davidson or is thinking about getting a Harley Davidson, when you go and look at a Harley Davidson that's new in the shop or even one second hand that's got the standard cans on it, they do not sound like a typical Harley Davidson, do they? they it's like everybody wants that noise. The let, let's be honest here. It's potato, 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 potato. Okay. And anybody who wants to sing along with me is a great wee tune. Potato, 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 right? But you don't realise that that sound is, is basically helped along by the sound of headers and the exhaust and the fueling. So if you want the potato, potato, potato sound, you have to basically change the exhaust system because it, the noise in the engine is completely silenced and back pressured up for emission loss. So that is why if you want that loud, not barky, hardly noise that everybody remembers from back in the day, nowadays on a modern bike you have to play with it and that's what you get now. So. I think this is well for me. This was like my, my 48 that I had before when I bought it. We had that same one fitted right away. Yeah. With different exhaust. That's and right. Then, obviously when I bought this bike I just bought it and kept it standard to the word whole because it's the one thing, it was going to be enough of a bigger power set for me anyway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it seems silly to like put something on it straight away. And that's been, what, four years that I've had this bike now? Yeah. And that's the first modification of it. I really felt like I needed to move to it after kind of breaking in a bit. Yeah, that's right. You know, I mean, that's it. I mean, you, you, I, if it was me, and well, you know, I mean, it is, it's your bike, and I think you've already said. There's no point in doing anything else to it. It's done. You know what I mean? It's, it's already got the 110 Screaming Eagle engine in it. It's got the stage one air filter. It's already tuned to a stage one already. Now you now you've got the now you've got the exhaust on it. You're done. You know what I mean? There's the only way, the only thing now that you could probably do to it is to take it to a set of cams and take it to a stage three. And 
Oh hell no! <laughs> that is just not happening. Oh, we're on, what road are we on now? This is the Rosyth Bypass or Dunfermline Bypass road now? Yeah, I, I don't know what the road is. Yeah, alright. So this, <laughs> is, this is the Fife Coastal route. Yeah, um, it's part of the Fife Coastal, right? Coastal route. So everybody comes out here, everybody's watching, you can see the cyclists and you can see all the nice people just enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> And getting upset with the sound of the Harleys screaming past. We've even got we've even got a convertible ahead. <laughs> oh dear! If anybody else is watching this, that is the evil laugh that somebody wants to go up beside them and start revving their motorcycle. Everybody. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's like it's like buy a convertible. We have one sunny day a day! Out! Let's justify it! Justify it! <laughs> this convertible is £10,000 more than normal. We have one day a year we can enjoy it. Let's justify it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm like, damn. We are good. Guys, we had to escape the, uh, the madness. Uh -huh. Everybody's trying to get to the beach because it's Saturday. I mean, famous last words, there's me saying, Everybody's trying to get for a McDonald's McFlurry in Falkirk and then everybody across here is trying to get to the beach. Exactly. Look at, look, look at that traffic on that bridge coming this way. Oh, wow. Nope, okay. nope. Oh, look at the traffic that way. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We are going to North Queen's Ferry where there is no beach. It is rocks and water. Yep. Rocks and water and potentially a Diet Coke waiting with my name on it. <laughs> yeah, so that's... Uh, that's, that's us coming into North Queensferry and guys, everyone who's watching this, um, never mind Sarah and I is just blethering away, we're just enjoying the sunshine and riding our bikes together and hopefully I can get a Diet Coke, anything, I'd, I could honestly, I know everybody's going to be going boo, unsubscribe, unfollow, whatever, <laughs> but I could honestly, could live without food for a day, but I, I couldn't live without a Diet, a cold Diet Cola, oh, Cold one. Oh god, yeah. I don't really care about full fat stuff, but a cold diet coke, oh. <laughs> oh it's like what well, dreams are made of, you know. It, for me anyway. Yeah. But that's just because how I, I like I like the stuff. I know it's bad for me and it's full of all these things that cause problems, but I ride a motorbike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. I ride, a, I ride a motorbike, one of the most dangerous things in the, uh, on the road, you know. Just remember the crazy speed bumps on this road. Oh, um, because there's one right there, so just watch <laughs> yourself. I mean, I can still navigate quite quickly through these things. So anybody watching, guys, that is the River Forth ahead. That big red one is the fourth rail. If you have been watching the channel for the last few months, sorry about Sarah's cackling. It's... I think it's just the wind noise. Can you still hear me now? Yeah, um, I was a wee bit behind you. All right, oh, probably um, just, right. I was starting to lose a wee bit there. All right. <laughs> if anybody who has been watching the channel for the last couple of months, you probably know that Sarah and I quite enjoy coming down to this part because, well, it's a lot, it's a probably it's probably one of the quietest parts, isn't it? I, wouldn't, it? wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say so until we come through. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? And I, it's like, I just pull my clutch in and just try to, be as quiet as possible so I don't cause any interruptions. Okay. We'll see if we can get down the front yeah. uh, with the bike. If not, we can just turn and come back up. But yeah, there's a few wee bits there we can park at if it comes to it. Yeah, I mean, there's a car park as well. But nobody really seems to bother with us too much bringing the bikes down here. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just kind of stop and take a few photographs and leave anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. So, as you've probably seen, guys, we just stopped at the North Queen's Ferry just for a short period of time, took a couple of pictures. The um, There's been a, an accident here on the big main uh, motorway. Um, one, somebody came and explained to us it's been bit, quite a bad accident, so we thought we'll get moving and try to avoid the hours worth of tail, like tailgate, like basically traffic, really. Yeah. Because what we're on right now, there's only like one main road bridge over this end that connects the north and the south. Um, everybody who's watching this from the area, you'll know what I'm talking about, but if this road closes, then it's an absolute nightmare, and then you have to go, what, is it 30 miles to the Kincardine Bridge? Yeah, 
it's a hectic so, tourist food, so we're just a bit like let's just get moving now before it start, yeah. starts causing any problems. So but then this bridge is shut in the winter because the ice coming off the top, it's it's crazy. Oh no. And then, then it has a really big knock and effect to literally every single road in the in a central area, doesn't it? Oh yeah, we can see that, I mean, everybody, everybody watching this, we've got my camera on, you can see yeah. look, look at all that traffic already, so we're yeah. pretty lucky, so what we're going to do is we're going to come off here and go the bypass road, yeah. uh, and that'll take us into the city, city of Edinburgh, yeah. so we'll, uh, we'll see you there, guys. So guys, um, we are now across the other side of the bridge, past the little bypass, and now onto the Edinburgh Bypass and we're actually going to head to Soul Tire Motorcycles which is the Indian dealership and there's a little bit of wind cackle in the background I think that's just Sarah's microphone but I think it'll be alright yeah. yeah, you're alright? Yeah So, we were just having a final discussion off camera about uh, sports bikes <laughs> We just got a bit, we got cut up by a few of them um, They were all stuck in the same traffic as we were back and they're all trying to nudge their way in, weren't they? And I'm like, you know, it's like these bikes, they, 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 I don't, anybody who is, anybody who's watching, um, if you've got a sports bike, I'm really, I'm going to apologise now, but take them out of the, out of the town, out of the city. What are you doing? Oh, have you cut? Fine, I'll get by them. Uh, these sports bikes, don't they? That's like, the, there we go. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'm having a conversation with sports bikes, and there comes Sarah winging up, <laughs> winging up behind me. <laughs> Unruly sports bikes. <laughs> uh, and, oh, jeez. Oh, 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 well, it looks like we're filtering again. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's the only thing about Saturday. Like, that's why we rarely go out on a Saturday. Oh, I know. It's like everybody just... It's the it's, it's one of the luxuries that we do appreciate between the two of us. And we, we find ourselves very fortunate as well that Sarah's working from home just now. And, and obviously people who know me know that I work away and come back and I've got time off. And we can go out riding our bikes during the week when it's quieter. Can't we? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, and so I can it's, finish that a bit sharp if it's a nice day and we can just like yeah. head out on the bikes and like escape this madness that is yeah. COVID traffic. Oh, I know. And I understand everybody wants to go out and enjoy the sunshine as well, and I get that. But it's almost like they switch their brains off or take their brains out, leave them on the shelf, and then go out, you know. Yeah. It, it drives me crazy. And it's, it's just like what we're talking about with the sports bikes. I don't know what it is, it's just like they put on the one piece or the two piece race suit, they jump on these bikes and they like go around the town and close town centres. Mm -hmm. And you go, why? Why? <laughs> why are you doing this? You know, it's like you've got a bike that's cabled in 180 miles an hour, you bought that consciously knowing that it's a super duper fast bike. Yeah. And you're driving it around a really, really busy town, town centre, you know what yeah. I mean? getting all frustrated and oh, I should be riding faster than this this is my bike's designed to do 180 miles an hour <laughs> and you go well that's why we have cruisers because we just want to like enjoy riding our bikes we don't I don't want to do 180 miles an hour I want to I want to live damn it yeah. you know and enjoy a pint of beer at the weekend <laughs> oh now we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have this we're gonna have this conversation are we I've got the latest exhaust again! Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I mean, I've got, I, you had the biggest engine, now, now the, then I got an engine upgrade, and then all, then all of a sudden it's, yeah, but I've got the latest this, and I've got that, and I'm like, that's it, I'm taking all, I'm taking all the exhausts off, I'm going to take the keys off you, yeah, and you're, you're going to get a 125, or a scooter. I'm going to get in touch with Mr. Revbomb, and you're getting a 125. No. Right, okay, and Rev Bomb, if you have if you're watching this right now, I'm in the market for a one two five. I'll do a I'll do a straight swap with you. Uh, a straight swap <laughs> I'm not I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm 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 being victimized by my own wife. Like you would straight swap this fight. <laughs> oh so um, what we'll do guys is uh, I'll 
we'll see you when, we'll hopefully see you when we get to uh salt tire yeah. it's got a bit of traffic coming up again so speak, yeah. see you soon yeah. hopefully there's a wee space oh there's a dodge ram parked outside oh how you tease me oh it has a dodge ram Guys, we're through here at the Salt Tire. The uh, Salt, my God, we the nails start again. So, guys, we're through here at the Salt Tire Motorcycles, just in the Alba Customs who do the Suzukis and Indians and all Yamahas and KTM's and what else Husqvarna. So, they were just we came in, said a lot of few people that we know in the motorcycle scene had something to drink because in the words of everybody from Scotland it is roasting and we're going to go hit the roads again and head over towards the Lothians and head up that part of the world so been a good day so far and I think it's meant to get even warmer over the weekend bring on global climate change <laughs> global warming can come to Scotland anytime it likes We've been living in snow and ice for too long, it's time for sunshine. <laughs> you know, I'll take it. So, anyway, so we'll see you on the road, guys. Well, Sarah and, and I have now left Salt Iron Motorcycles, Alba Customs, yep. and had a refreshment of Pepsi and uh, Iron Brew. Iron Brew. Iron Brew, made from, gur <laughs> made from girders. Made yeah. So. We are now going to head over to the head to like the kind of high Lovians of Paul Bathgate part of the world. Um, hopefully, avoid the the traffic jam which is caused by an unfortunate accident heading north. Um, as I say, we don't know the the actual results of what actually happened or people yeah, being hurt. Okay. But hope everyone's okay. Hope everybody's okay. Yeah. Uh, it didn't sound the greatest when we got told no, we didn't know. But I think, unfortunately, it's like bad weather and good weather. They, they bring both their positives and their negatives, don't they? Yeah. It's like people will be getting, they are getting grossed into like nice weather and sometimes they're not really paying attention, unfortunately. And so that's why it's always good just to say, well, no matter what the weather is, you've got to keep the same focus, so. Definitely. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our little ride home. We'll take, take you guys along, as long as the bus doesn't try and pull out and kill me. <laughs> because like everybody else here, or every other motorist in Central, everybody, every other motorist in the city, it's uh, tunnel vision and kill or be killed. So, morning guys, uh, it's now Sunday. So we are heading down to the Scottish borders. As you can see, I've got have I have Sarah to my right or to your left or whichever way you want to watch the screen at. <laughs> so we're gonna head down there this morning, um, taking some of the views, take some nice pictures, some videography, and just more or less just enjoy the roads for taking our bikes on. We're getting some really good weather here in Scotland right now, so we'll take you along and uh, see where we get to. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, see you soon. So, good morning. We are on our way to St Mary's Lock and we are now, we're taking the long way. A lot of people take the quicker route through Glasgow and, uh, and then kind of cut, cut off to doing the country roads where Sarah and I like to do the country living roads. Don't, yeah. we, don't we, Sarah? Yeah, so, confidence up as well, yeah, yeah, it's really good if you're needing to learn how to take bends, uh, no, not like MotoGP speed, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, just basically, I don't know, just general good pace, if you want to use that word, within the speed limits. So this is uh, Scotland, guys, for any of you who are doing, we're heading towards the borders. We've just recently passed a small town called Peebles, heading towards Bigger. And this is what, we're 25 miles south from where we live now. So we have all this around us. Um, we usually do this run at least once a year. 
um, but we're trying to anyway. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it can be a long day because you've got to come down all the way down to the borders and then you've got to come all the way back up through the city, but yeah, it's a great fun, it's a great, it's a great morning all around. Yeah. As long as Sarah can keep up. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> What's that? I'm going at my pace. You're going at your, Sarah's going at her pace today. So we're, we've got some water in the panniers, we've got the drone with us. Um, and we're going to maybe take some dronage. Dr yeah. Dronage videography, cinematography. You know, uh, that, get the angry wasp out of the, out the cage. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, take some pictures and you know, upset the goats and everything else, and that's just a normal day. <laughs> so, and then I think down here there's a, well there is, we know there is, uh, there's a, uh, there's a, there's a, like a, a cafe, isn't there, at St Mary's Lock, so we'll, we'll probably stop at St Mary's Lock and have a, a coffee, if they, if they have them, um, if, if they're open, it's a really, really busy little place, um, all the bikers around here, Get the kind of converge in this area because of the well, you can see the scenery and the roads that you're just currently seeing, um, and we can as they we quite enjoy it. We usually we don't usually come down here at the weekends. We like a we're like come down during the week when everybody else is at work and we get the place to ourselves a little bit. But you know, right now we're just taking advantage of every sunny day. Yeah. It's like it's not as hot as it was yesterday as well. Yeah, that's yesterday right. Was oh. really at, the at, anyway. <laughs> at the moment, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <that's true. laughs> I was going to start a little segment for today's vlog, and then I'll just uh, Sarah's words of wisdom for a motorcyclist. What is Sarah's words of wisdom for a motorcyclist in Scotland today? <laughs> <laughs> My words of wisdom are don't string questions on your other half. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh, so Sarah has no words of wisdom today. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't have time to think of it. That's true. So what I'll do is I'll ask you again in maybe five or ten minutes and I'll make sure that everybody gets to hear Sarah's words of wisdom as a motorcycle. So, I did say five minutes ago, Sarah, mm -hmm. that you were going to give me words of wisdom. Now, we are now getting more into the uh, country. Yes. We're more country than country at the moment. So, what is your words of wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> right, so come on then. What if, is you're your... on, if you're on a faster bike than me, right? Right. Horse bike, whatever. Or you think you're on a faster bike than me? Right. Well, you know, sit at my ass. And, and there you have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> everybody, we have stopped now at the other side. So, where I'm pointing, there's the Tala Reservoir on the other side of this structure. And then this is down the valley right below it. So we're right on the Scottish borders. This is where Sarah and I come once a year, as I was mentioning before. This part of the world is beautiful. I'm not going to lie. I actually think I almost got us lost coming here again <laughs> because I go away for so long and I forget all the roads. So it's quite popular with bikes, as you can see. At least he nodded. I don't have to give him the grr in the background. Oh, so did he. That's fine. That's two out of two so far. Two out two, of two so far, so we're up here, take a few photographs, you'll probably see some of these pictures on Instagram probably before you actually get to see this video edit. This video will probably be a bit longer than our usual daily vlogs because we're incorporating both Saturday and Sunday and we're just having a good time enjoying the Scottish sunshine and Scotland because, yeah. well, I know the weather can be nonsense but the uh, I do love, I love always being home so, you know, can't complain. Big street glide sitting there shaking itself to pieces, probably. You know, it's sitting there going, What have you done to me? Sarah Soft Tail sitting there and she's doing the uh, social, all the pictures for the social medias. So, yeah, so the next one, well, we'll probably down by the lock side and uh, show you that. So, see you soon, guys. So, guys, that's us down here at the Tala Reservoir, down here at the Scottish Borders. As you can see, Sarah has now took the lead. And um, we're just cruising along, and you can probably see there's a couple of bikers in front of Sarah that are obviously didn't go up her backside, like she said. <laughs> they, I mean, they just overtook, didn't they? Because I mean, this road is kind of like loose shingle somewhere, and I have heard of some brutal accidents on this area, so I would rather just take it 
cautiously and enjoy. So, beautiful part of the world. And say we've got some waters and things like that in the in the panniers of my bike. Comes in handy the big old battle cruiser. Yep. Um, Sarah says she's roasting up there with her other bike gear on. Yep. Because it has warmed up a lot, you know. Definitely, yeah, definitely yeah. warm, definitely warmed up from this morning. I know there was people around there saying, "Oh, it's actually like nice and cool compared to yesterday." And it's like, "Oh my God, we're sweating!" Oh no, we're we're sweating. <laughs> we're melting. We're like we're Scottish. We melt in anything above twenty degrees. We're like, "Oh my God, we're not used to this." <laughs> you know, it's it's like we we get lost seventy five percent of our year in the rain. Yeah, this is the incline of doom, guys. This is the uh, as you can see, we're carving our way up through the mountains here, and you can see some old farmland down there as well on the left. This is a first and second gear road. Yeah, I'm like saying first gear. Yeah. No, like, both of our bikes are quite torquey, so, like, most Harleys are, so yeah. we can get up these hills pretty alright. But there's just a loose shingle. Um, but the view is absolutely amazing up here. Yeah. You know? Not a lot of bikes come this way as much as they used to. Um, not really any kind of sporty bikes. You only get one or two that usually come this way. Yeah. It's usually a big, more big tourers like ours that come up, you know. Yeah, because I think you need to be able to have your ability to be able to put your feet down a bit. Oh, definitely up this road, yeah. Like, I know they always say not to put your feet down, but I think at this bit, they do put a bit of yeah. slow manoeuvres. Oh yeah, for the slow manoeuvre stuff up here, you need it. You know what I mean? As you can see to the left there, everybody watching it, you can see the hillside's quite rocky. Um, it does kind of break away quite easily up here. And yeah. some of it ends up on this road. Oh, over the years that I've been coming down here anyway. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's the same. I'm, I'm, oh God! <laughs> everybody watching this right now is going to be going... <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, that, that, it's fine Scottish. That's Scottish for a Polish. Sarah Machen. <laughs> Sarah Machen does not swear, but she's now, she now just swore in my video. You know. You know. They're, 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 that, that guy's face, he was looking at my eight panels and going, Are you bringing that up here? <laughs> Car clubs and bike clubs must be hovering around. Look at that one, Triumph Stags, I think. Yeah, Triumph Stag Owners Club. Yeah, it is Triumph Stags. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, seen uh, we. I never had it on record at the time, but we had the the the, the Honda Goldwing Club. <laughs> they go by, and you, you you forget how quiet those bikes are compared to like a. A rig V twin, don't you? you it's like we go past and it's like a, it's like a wind whistle. <laughs> you know, it's like this, and you go, what? You know, I mean, if you didn't know they were coming, you think you would miss them. Yeah. Uh, down into the valley and right, that right across you, uh, right across there, and the camera view is St Mary's Loch, and hopefully a roll and sausage awaits me. <laughs> cursing, there's not been no swearing, there's not been Scottish-isms of any type, there has been nobody trying to cut us up to bring on any violence, which is awesome. Uh, always, a good thing. always a good thing, no biker violence on the back and on the Scottish border roads, you know, so, uh, so we're, yeah, still having a good time, so hopefully um, we'll carry on and we'll see you at the cafe where I can hopefully get some lunch. Oh. To my left, guys, is St Mary's Loch, and every possible person from Glasgow <laughs> at, the, at the same time who's down here for uh, some motorcyclings, for shall, some sailings, and all you can hear is Sarah's cackle in the background from our microphone. I don't know. I think it's, yeah, it's just you. <laughs> so, Oh, like Sarah's heavy breathing, you know, maybe, you know, like riding, riding, <laughs> Sarah's heavy breathing, riding a Harley, you know, I, I don't know. But yeah, like, it's like everybody, everybody just wants to migrate towards water. 
Don't they, you know? And I don't, I get it. I mean, let's, uh, we, we must barbecue. <laughs> you know, it was like, oh my God, we must barbecue. And this is what you get. And I ain't getting no rolls and sausage today. Oh, hell no. Oh, wow, sir. Oh, yeah. I think, I think, we're, I think I'm just going to carry on. What do you think? I think we'll just, just yeah, I think, so. yeah, I think we'll just carry on. Oh my God! Wow. wow. Yeah. Really, really yeah, really, 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 really busy. I think yeah, yeah. I think we'll just uh, nice and steady pace past. Oh my God! Everybody's trying to kill me, you guys. Everybody's up here. Like you got paddle boarding, you've got canoeing, you've got no rolls and sausage for me. Um, you know. I'm, Remember I said earlier there was no biker violence? There's going to be biker violence soon <laughs> because there's no rules and sausage yet. It doesn't matter. There's always an answer to that. There are no rules and sausage. I will find something to eat shortly. But anyway, this is beautiful. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, you know, this is like part of our like weekend riding. You know, we don't. If, there's no place to stop back there. We're, we, we, we're not entirely... You know that um, you know upset about it, are we, Sarah? Nah. nah. We just like to ride our bikes. You know, we like to ride our bikes, enjoy the view. We have water in our bag. We have money. We can go for some lunch on the way on the way back home, and and we're quite happy. So we'll carry on the road. You can enjoy the views, and uh, hopefully we will maybe you can maybe join us for lunch wherever I find something. So and watch out for sheep on the road. So. Look at that for a view, guys, before you catch into the next scene. Look at that. And this is, I think we're now about, about 80, 80 miles from the house now, I think. 80, 90 miles. So it's been a good it's been a good morning. It's now afternoon, so I think we're going to maybe start heading our way back up towards central Scotland. Hi guys, so that's us back from the St Mary's Lock Scottish Borders run. Great time had by all. I think the last clip you may have seen was me actually enjoying my roll and sausage. I actually had a roll and sausage and a roll and bacon. And I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth every bit of it. And all I can say is that's us back now. That was 150 miles we did just on the Sunday and probably about 500 miles on the Saturday. So in all in all, 250 miles of a good biking weekend. It's not bad for us. Uh, it was it kind of re remained within our own kind of area, which is really good. So all in all, good weekend. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching the video, keeping up to date with our motor vlogs. As I said on the previous Wednesday, I won't be able to do them every day, but we're hoping to try and get something out every week, every day. So, thank you to everybody who has been watching us here on YouTube and following us on Instagram. So, if you are riding today, guys, ride safe, and as always, keep following us. <laughs>